What's going on everyone? Today we have something special for y'all. This is the 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. This is the seventh generation Mustang. It is designated the S650. It continues the tradition of big engine, big power at an affordable price. This has the five liter Coyote engine, which is the fourth generation. And it finally, after over a decade in production, puts out 500 horsepower. Having a naturally aspirated engine's horsepower match the displacement is a pretty impressive feat. But if you remember, back in 2016 when they unveiled the Ford GT, they did something similar. It had a six cylinder EcoBoost and it put out 647 horsepower. The styling on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Some people have been hot and cold about it. I believe it is more evolutionary than revolutionary. Tell us in the comments what you think. Interior said to be inspired by a fighter jet, not actually designed after one. If that was the case, it'd be littered with knobs and switches and you would immediately get your new Mustang impounded for distracted driving. The new 12.4 inch instrument cluster is standard and can be customized in an astonishing number of ways. However, this 13.2 inch screen is an optional extra and has Ford Sync 4, which enables over the air updates to the software and vehicle function improvements. The ambient lighting and the cluster change when you switch drive modes and you can rev the engine from a heat fob. How Mustang is that? This color shifting paint is called Blue Ember and it is exclusive to the Dark Horse Mustang. It also has two different exclusive stripe options, blue shift knob, blue stitching, and a ton of other blue accents on the inside. An interesting fact about these three cars that were on display at Bear Jackson is that they were the exact cars that Ford used to unveil the 2024 Mustang. These were the three on stage at the live unveiling and the same three used for all of their promotional material. Over the last decade, we've seen these muscle cars who are used to ripping in a straight line from light to light, mutate and shape shift into these absolute track weapons. The GT350 and the GT350R were phenomenal entries by Ford. Unfortunately, once they were discontinued, there was nothing really to fill the gap between a GT and a GT500. The Mach 1 was certainly a good contender, however, it came out during a time of turmoil in the auto industry. The Dark Horse will slot perfectly between the GT and the GT500. VIN 001 was actually auctioned off at Bear Jackson to support a charity, and it went for $500,000. As for the auction itself, it's not difficult to find Ford vehicles as they have a huge presence, but what is difficult is finding your favorite one. Now it is only a matter of time before we see these on our lot and we are so excited to finally get our hands on one and play around with it. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.